welcome to Horror Rewind. This is Kelly Florence. And I'm Meg Hofdahl. And today we're talking about Dash Cam. Meg, do you remember we were in the start... Oh, there goes beer! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that spike on the audio. Yeah. We were at the beginning of the pandemic, and we were hearing all of this buzz about this movie, this found footage movie called Host. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, we should watch that. And guess what? We both did, and we freaking loved it. Yeah, I ended up watching it multiple times. So good. Watched it with the kids. Um, I thought it was kind of a cool way to show them, like, they hadn't really seen many um, found footage movies. So, yeah, a great, great film. I feel like Host really used its lack of money, and, you know, there's no famous people in it. It was just a really well-done movie and so I was very excited to see what they would do next yeah so the the same three creators uh, did dash cam which is the latest and we I saw now unlike host I saw some divisive um, things on social media about it specifically um, some people were concerned about the the main character being a MAGA Trump supporter and saying you know they don't recommend this movie because of that and we can speak to our opinion about that and um how we feel about it ultimately but um but we're gonna get into spoilers what i'm gonna say is yeah she's not she's not a great character she's not likable but i still had a fun time watching the movie and seeing her journey yeah i think that um there's you know there's different ways of looking at it um Obviously, our experience is only as um, a white female experience. That's all. That's all we can speak to. And I know that there were some feelings from people who are people of color who um, had some, I don't know, just issues overall. And that's totally fair and relevant. Um, From my perspective, yeah, she's she's awful. She's extremely obnoxious. She's not nice. And I will admit, like, the first, like, um, 10, 15 minutes, I was not sure (laughs) how I was going to feel about it because um, it was She's established so unlikable. she's established (laughs) as so unlikable. She is, um, you know, make America great again. And I think it was kind of cool because it is from the perspective of people outside the country, which I think is kind of fun, too, because... Um, we're so up our own butts, whether we're liberal or conservative. And these are people watching from the outside. And so, I don't know, I kind of find that interesting. Um, Also, something that you mentioned is, like, okay, uh, after we watched it and I brought up this point, it was like, okay, how often, though, are there unlikable characters? And we still like the movie. Like, Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, is he likable? No, but it's still a great movie. Yeah, and I think that, obviously, you know, she she comes off racist. She comes off all sorts of things. And I'm not excusing that at all, but I, my all I'm saying is that doesn't mean you can't have her as a character in a film. Um and, you know, if you want to put her in that final girl sort of position, you can. I guess she is the final girl. But that doesn't mean that um, we're supposed to like her or that, you know. We agree with she, her politics. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that, I don't think she grew throughout this journey, um, which is usually what you want to see. That being said, this movie is 77 minutes. And there are plenty of Twilight Zone episodes uh, about unlikable people um, that we watch. And there are plenty of, you know, short stories and novellas about unlikable people. So, and there are plenty of two-hour movies about unlikable people. Um, it does not always going to hit the same way for everybody. But what I liked about this movie is that it made me feel something in the sense of the horror. I got freaking scared. Oh my I got God. grossed out. Yes. It was fun. It was pulse-pounding. I mean, yeah, it would have been kind of fun to see her die because she was so annoying and that doesn't happen, but... um, But also, I kind of think that maybe she did die of COVID at the end because she was coughing a lot. I know she did the credit sequence, but... (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, I think think she does have COVID at the end, and that's kind of her irony is that she, like, if she had just worn a mask, you know? But, of course, she was an anti-masker. And so, yeah, she's a terrible person. Um, She's not very likable. Whatever her politics are, I mean, aside from that, she's not likable, but... So, let's get into the movie and, like, the plot. I was saying to you 
the like there's several real horrors before the actual like horror begins she's helping this woman who is like passed out in her back seat and then she has to like help her to the bathroom and she has to wipe pee off of her blood is coming out of her mask she there's is poop in the car. there's poop uh, or puke or whatever like we yeah. don't even know yeah and like all of that is horror on an a real level but then yeah. stuff starts getting very weird like bodies start flying yeah <laughs> we said that angela was kind of like part zombie part forest nymph because she was just like floating around um so I and we want to be cool. we both want to be angela when we grow up because like <laughs> wow no she's amazing like she she can like get through anything um she's really committed to like <laughs> killing um this maga girl and she can float around. I love it. And also when she, uh, uh, I guess she did it. I'm sorry. But when she broke her mom's arm in the steering wheel, like that Ooh. gore level, the gore level in yeah. this movie, yeah. Meg has a hat that says gore whore. And like, <laughs> yes, this is the, this would be the movie to wear that. Yeah, hat. it would. It I, And that the thing is, I wasn't necessarily expecting that because no. host is not terribly gory. Right. Um, and I guess that's all I really had to go on. I, I, I went into this kind of cold. I, I didn't read a lot about it or what it was about or anything. So, um, and I think that too is why maybe the first 20 minutes I'm like, okay, what's going to happen? Give me something here. Um, and I think they do spend a little too much time setting up how annoying she is. But once it gets going, it really doesn't stop. And it is, I think, a really fun then like 50 minutes of just horror. Gory splendid horror yes i loved um how first of all i think this is a, a re-watchable movie because there's a chat going on on the left hand side there's stuff happening on the screen there's a watcher count a follower count a viewer count on the upper right hand side and if you uh, you just can scan anything or pay attention to one thing and there's so much i think to uh, mine from all of that i'm sure and so it'll be interesting to go back and see, oh, look, here's some little clues. Like one one thing that I kept noticing in the chat was people kept saying, oh, there's somebody behind you. And she's like, oh, you're messing with me. And I see that a lot like on TikToks live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like a, it's a bit. Uh -huh. But like then it literally was happening. And that's so clever. Yeah. The classic boy who cried wolf. I love it. Yeah. I mean, I think that they did a good job of bringing in stretch. Uh, because he was a little more empathetic and um, they killed him off, of course. Um, but like things just escalate so fast and we're like, we realize we're in this house that she shouldn't be in. And then then at the end, when we've got this freaking creature that's scary. Oh my God, it's so good and spindly. I mean, I, I think saying. it would have been fun to watch me and Kelly watching this last night yeah. because we were both like, screaming and shouting at the tv and swearing and you know and that's what i love yes and the thing is like if you had told me like oh this movie is gonna be um about this unlikable woman and her journey like i'm a big believer that you should like the characters that you're following um but i like that they did that something different and that this isn't just like college girls who like are innocent and are bookish and they don't know anything like no but i think and meg and you've proved this in your fiction writing that you like complicated women and they yeah. don't have to be perfect and guess yeah. what she is far from it <laughs> yeah and also she was pretty freaking funny like when, yeah like the things she was calling him a semen demon. Yeah. Man. Like, that's yeah, dumb. That's funny and it's and funny. Dumb. Well, and that's the thing, too, is, like, different people are going to react to things differently. And I sort of like this take on, like, this woman <laughs> who's, like, she's obviously very quirky and um, she makes jokes all the time. And that's kind of almost what she does for a living. And so she's literally having these comments while this is going on, which <laughs> yeah. is, like, you know, maybe not it's what like I would do. But it's, yeah. yeah, it's being performative because yeah. that's what she's used to. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And it made sense, too. You know, there's always that kind of, like, okay, why have the camera keep going? But for her, it makes sense as a character. Yep. Um, so, again, just because... You know, I, I know this is, like, controversial, but just because she's not likable doesn't mean that the movie can't be valid. And I like playing around with, like, different things like that. Yeah. 
Also, uh, speaking of another moment of true horror, when Stretch got, well, he lost one of his shoes, which already is horrific oh, if you're running yeah. away from, like, a creature in the yeah. woods. But then he steps on a freaking needle? Yeah. And who knows? God yeah. knows what or who or yeah. why? Yeah. Oh, and, and the, the slow pullout, oh, like, you saw how long the needle out. was. Yeah. No, no. That, that, isn't it funny how, like, all the gore in the world, like, it's those little things sometimes, like just pulling something out of your foot. Well, it's like the quiet place when she steps on yep. the nail on the yep. stair. Like yep. that's even worse. You that's know? more memorable than any of than the like other Than like a, a major yeah. creature. When somebody's moment. head explodes or something. <laughs> um, yes. And I know there was some eye action and some um, just like, the well, even the blood coming through the mask was so oh. just the visual of it. There was just a lot. There was a lot. Also, uh, something that I was saying during the movie, it's fun to think about, uh, because we are writers, thinking about the writing process. And I was like, oh, look, like this carnival setting. Mm -hmm. Think of a cool place to shoot and then make it make sense yeah. for a scene. And that was freaking cool. It was so good. Yeah, it was It was neat that they had a bigger budget this time and that they could do, you know, they had multiple um, car stuff. Fired. Oh. They have, yeah, multiple car things, different locations. So that was fun to see them play around more with that. Um, I like that they kept the runtime low again. Um I think, again, that's playing with sort of these ideas of what cinema has to be. It doesn't have to be 90 minutes minimum, you know? Right. I love that. Now, I know that there also is controversy. I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the gore, but I don't know. I should look okay. into it more. And that this movie has been banned from some theaters. And so, um, yeah, well, uh, no... <laughs> No press is bad press. Yeah. I think yeah. it's it's only going to make people try to, you know, seek it out more. Yeah. Um, just kind of like, we've written about it, Meg. What is it? Back in the day when they, Evil Dead was banned. Oh, yeah. So you're saying, like, it makes it, like, yeah, forbidden it, it, fruit, basically. Yes, exactly. Or like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as horror fans, we, we like to, you know look behind the curtain and be like oh you just told me I can't watch this well yeah um so yeah I you know it's I wonder how this will shake out because with host everyone loved it and it yeah. was just like this huge hit and obviously they got in this position where they could make a movie like this that has more money um but I know this one isn't um not everyone's loving it and so I wonder sort of how that will go and you know if they're going to attempt to make another movie similar to host after this mm -hmm. or keep trying to sort of play around with the genre I don't know yeah I'm curious as well well listen friends um if you're listening <laughs> the three creators of this we believe in you yeah yeah seriously um I'm I'm super impressed with what they're able to do I mean found footage is almost kind of cliche at this point in horror and host I think really revived the genre a lot and I feel like this one has a lot of merit um understandably not everybody it's not everybody's cup of tea but I think it has has some good points to it and I know I enjoyed the heck out of it yes so did I um so let's rank uh I was always gonna say host Let's rank dash cam on a scale of zero to ten. Zero being you hated it, ten being it's a perfect movie. What's the scale? Is it her pink microphone that she keeps like oh, shoving yeah. in people's faces? Yeah. Oh, she's the worst. She is the worst. Um, How many pink mics do you give? I'm gonna dash give cam? it a seven point five because I really enjoyed once it got going, but it took. A way too big of a chunk um, showing how annoying she was and she was so annoying that like you almost get to the point where you want to shut it off but then once it started getting good then it was good yeah no I I think that's fair I'm gonna give it um, a six and uh, maybe no six and a half because I I freaking love the gore I freaking loved um, the the cheeky one-liners but yeah, same thing. Also, it was never actually explained what the fuck is going on. Yeah, that's true. I, th I feel like um, the the whole thing about the, like, 
she was actually 16 because she had an Ariana Grande tattoo. Yes! Like, what? Uh, like, that's really interesting. And, yeah, I would have liked to know more. So, it's like, um, maybe if they had cut down some of that beginning time and added a little bit of time kind of giving us just a little bit of an explanation um, on some things, that would have been nice. Yeah. Also, we watch the end credits are unlike anything I've ever seen before. <laughs> it was literally this woman, the actress, um, who is a uh, you looked it up, yeah. who she does this. She was uh, just rapping um, everyone's name, yeah, and the like credits. And saying freestyle crude about them, yeah, free, freestyle <laughs> crude level. And we stayed through the whole thing because we're like, okay, is she gonna die at the end? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she did not. No, she doesn't. But. Um, she had kind of a nice, like, ready or not end moment where after she killed the monster. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. You know, it yeah. just felt very, yeah. like, that kind of. Um, but, yeah. I think I think overall, I mean, I had a good time. Yeah. It was I had a, a good fun t- movie to watch together. Definitely. Yeah. I And I, so I'm curious, um, and tweet us, friends, and tell us, I'm curious what the in-theater experience is like. Yeah. Like, how were people reacting? Because... We, in the privacy of our own home, were able to be like, oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, you know, the fact that, I'm just thinking about it, the fact that she wasn't likable almost made it feel like she could die at any second. Yeah. And if she was more likable, maybe I wouldn't be like, I'd be like, well, obviously she's going to get out of this situation. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that kind of puts you in more That's playing with our expectations. So something to think about, but... Um, I hope she learned something from this experience. <laughs> I know. I mean, I guess we'll see if there's a sequel, right? Yeah. And uh, also, I think purposely, she was American, and then but they said it in England, you know, and yeah, that also yeah. like plays on a bunch of things. yeah, it does. And I mean, that's fair that that's. Um, I mean, because it pretty much is. It's like sort of this again this outsider perspective of what a MAGA person would be like and I mean they're not wrong (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) you're spot on (laughs) oh okay friends we're gonna talk to you next week about another recent horror movie that we've watched until next time we'll see you in the horror section bye